I'm leaving. That's it. I'm That's done it. here. I'm, I'm gone. Here. Wait a minute. We can't leave our own businesses. No, that can't. is not a thing. <laughs> that would be great. I'm leaving. See you later. You guys have it. <laughs> <laughs> you walk out the door. I'm and then here. you realize, wait a minute. I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. <laughs> Flip me over. I'm done. Good. That's it. <laughs> I'm BJ Flag, And I'm Rich G. And this is episode 215, The Great Resignation, How to Hold On to Your Best People. Exactly. You know, in the, in the last several months, businesses have been seeing a tidal wave of employee resignations. Yeah. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 4 million Americans quit their jobs in July. Four million resignations peaked in April and have been remaining abnormally high for the last several months with a record breaking 10.9 million open jobs at the end of July. Yes. Yeah, so how can you retain your top people in the face of this tidal wave of resignation? Yeah. And I think we're, our tips are going to be really geared toward understanding what's happening and why it's happening. Exactly. So I think it'll help. Well, tip number one is increase your communication with all of your employees. Okay. Because many employees have delayed transitioning out of their roles due to the uncertainty caused by the pandemic. So they're doing it now. So you need to understand what's going on. You can't just be business as usual. No, you know, you got to make them feel wanted, show them your appreciation. This is the time to take that extra minute and be able to be there. Yeah, talk talk about their efforts, what they contribute, or how they've contributed to your to the success of the company. Make them feel good because that's the number one reason why people stay at their jobs is that they're appreciated by their boss. Absolutely, you know, you just got to listen to them and don't just talk to them about you and your needs. Talk talk with them. Yeah, because they might have great ideas. Because Absolutely. We've been in hiber hibernation mode for the last, you know, 18, 20 months. And they might have some really great ideas to break out of this and to get back to normal. Exactly. A good, good and uh, creative time. Um, tip number two, be alert. You too have been in hibernation. Now I need you to wake up. And be alert. If you hear something, remember and be proactive. Um, if you think you've heard some, something's off, you did hear it. This is not the time to ignore a comment or sweep something under a rug. Review your thoughts, what occurred, and create a way to directly approach the concern. Yeah, just as you did when you had a boss. Make sure they're aware of your worth and of things you have done to help them. Not for an accolade, but more as an awareness. So when they are tallying up the reasons to leave, there will be a number of pros on that list. Yeah. And, you know, don't react to office politics and gossip and be reactive. You know, this is the time to be proactive and be above all that. You know, as we mentioned in tip one, be as connected as you can with each of your employees. Okay, tip three is the hard one. It's it's the tough talk. Pull, pull out the checkbook for your top people. You have a few opportunities to keep your people engaged and interested. Uh, you could give them more responsibility. You could give them better projects. You could give them more control. Yeah, you could promote them. You could give them, you know, some of your own responsibilities. Show them that there's a path forward. Yeah, finally, give them more money. It's a lot less than losing them and having to replace them. Think about what's involved from starting at ground zero, running ads, recruiters, interviewing, salary negotiation, onboarding, and months of training, all to replace one of your top people. Exactly. Can be very expensive. 
Um, tip number four, let's just go a little bit deeper in case you didn't catch it in number one. Be that boss, the empathetic, the listener, the one who's compassionate. I We can't stress it enough. Be the boss that always has a minute to talk. Don't be rushed. Really be present and listen to the concern. Don't leave the meeting without a concrete next steps to improve and move forward. Yeah. The best thing to do is compliment them in front of the other employees. Thanks for your efforts on the presentation. Your whole team made such an impact. We are lucky to have you here. Yes, these go a long, long way towards retention. And if you sense that they're already planning an exit, be upfront with them. What can we do to help you with this career move? Be the boss they remember for a lifetime. Don't hold on to them if they've already made that one step out the door. Yeah, that's the big thing. You need to understand if they're already out the door, you can't hold on to them. So if you sense two days away would make all the difference to an employee, do it. You can live for two days, but they may be at their wit's end. Tell them when they get back, let's make changes together to bring the stress level down. Again, be compassionate. And we hope all of these ideas have kind of helped you understand that we're going into some uncharted territory here. And, you know, we're trying to be there for you. For, yeah, because for, for, for many years, it was, it was a buyer's market. You know, you were, it was, you know, looking for the right person. You had a lot of people applying to the jobs. Now it's a seller's market. People are leaving companies and there, and there are a lot of jobs out there. There are a lot of great jobs and people are going, you know what, I've hung around for two years and I don't really like what's going on or I need a change or I want more money or more responsibility and they're gone. So you could try your hardest to keep certain people, but some people are going to leave and you need to prepare yourself for that. Exactly. And how can you prepare? With a great resource. <laughs> yeah, there's a, it's a great book we have. It's called Read People Like a Book, How to Analyze, Understand and Predict People's Emotions, Thoughts, Intentions and Behaviors by Patrick King. You know, so you in this type of a book, you kind of get the nuggets out of it. You know, you might not read the entire book, but you're going to get some incredible nuggets. Um, speed read people, decipher body language, detect lies, understand people's human nature. You know, he's trying to wake you up to be a better analyzer of how people are reacting. Yeah, it helps you understand the subtle signals that you're sending out and increase your emotional intelligence. Yeah. And I, you know, I think that, you know, sometimes we don't really understand the keys of influencing and persuading others. We're not looking at it in a deceitful way. We're looking at it in a positive way that you can remain the boss that they really want to have. So this book is a goodie. Yes. Yeah, so you can learn how to trick them. Oh, dear. No. Them to their death. <laughs> you know, you want to trick them. And understand their motives, that underhanded motives. No, I'm just I don't kidding. think so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's it for today. I would love to share our first sponsor, which is Rich G High Performing Coaching. Are you worried about losing your best people? If you don't move fast, your business might take a major hit where it takes months to recover. You need to put Rich G on speed dial to help you develop an action plan to keep your top people happy, healthy, and at their desks. Working with Rich will ensure that you and your business stays on track for the final months of 2021. Go to richg.com to chat with Rich today. And our other premium sponsor is BJ Flag. Now is the time to plan for the new year. Dust off your brand strategy and make an impactful plan for 2022. Look no further. I have someone in my community you want to talk to, BJ Flagg from New Renew Brand Marketing. They are a full service agency who can work on strategy, messaging, branding to implementation, websites, PR, 
social media, email marketing, they're the group for you. That's N-U-R-E-N-U.com. Thank you to our producer and king of creative, Richard Scalzo, bringing you the best small business podcast every Tuesday. Have an unbelievable week. Catch you later.